Hello, and welcome to a more laid-back, relaxed, chilled, late-at-night, after-work video with me, your host with the most, Terry Dancer, the Double Ds. Today we're playing Rust. Got something special for ya. Today we're playing on Bella Nova. It's a PvE server, so, you know, you can't raid, you can't kill each other. Peaceful, relaxing, chill, just the way I like it, especially after a long day of work. And I'm here to show you the ultimate shooting range that I made for this server. Um, if I go over here uh, with my pickaxe, you can see I get a lot of resources. 600, 600, 600. When I break it completely, I get, boom, 2,000. So right there, that was... 8,200 stone, so I get a lot of resources. I have a lot of disposable income, as you could say in the Rust game. So I like to do just kind of like random things for the server. Uh, the last few wipes I've built a small version of what you're about to see for the server. He sets up warps. Uh, the server admin, his name is Mal's, totally cool dude. Uh, he works with a bunch of other like server owners and kind of like um, looks at code and I don't really know what he does, but he's a really cool dude, and he's helping a lot with, like, just the overall Rust experience, so huge shout-out to Mal's for all that. I see him all the time helping out uh, friends of his that own different servers, and I just think that's really cool. It's really admirable. Um, over here, I did have a bunch of vending machines, but for some reason, they decayed, or I don't know. I don't know what happened with those. I didn't care to replace them, but you come in, you got recyclers here. Uh, if we go slash shop here on the server, this is my favorite part. You can buy pretty much anything and everything. So all the ammo, attire, components, weapons. I can see I've got quite a bit of money on this server, so pretty good there. Commands, this is how you get the recyclers. Boom. Recycler for your base. Only a thousand. Easy, bruh. And then you can call like the Bradley and all that cool stuff. So it's a really fun server if you like to stay active. Uh, I have some beautiful artwork sprawled all around this place. Look at this. What is this? Is that a boat or is it a poop? I don't know. Art is so beautiful. <laughs> this is the main open lounge area. So we've got like spectator seats in the back here. I had a bunch of hemp growing for like bushes, but it looks like uh, that went away. But each one of these are identical except for the skins on the different targets so you know you can have like little competitions with friends and stuff on the server so that's pretty cool that's all kind of just open free range and then if you go upstairs here you've got more of like spectator area and it's all lit up beautiful beautiful just some more targets sprawled all around so you can always have something to shoot at this is kind of like the main romance area. There's nothing going on on this floor, but you can bring Bay up here. Oh, leg. You can bring Bay up here. This is a huge build, too, so there's going to be quite a bit of legs since I'm recording and stuff. That's the main kind of like free running area. We'll get to that. But this is chill zone. Bring Bay up here. It's nighttime. Light it up. Light it up. I'm going to run up to the roof here, and I'll show you... The Sniper Lounge. Yeah, this is where all the cool kids hang out. This is a huge cool thing of the server. Everybody can do it as soon as you start. You can go slash my time. 12. And no matter what time the actual game day is, you'll always be looking like it's daytime. I started the video with kind of like the sun setting because I wanted to show off the lighting aspect. I put a lot of work into that. And I just wanted you to see it. I just wanted you to see it. But anyways, this is Sniper Deck over here. I made like a, since it's PvE server you don't get to raid and stuff, it's kind of like a mock raid slash SWAT thing. So from this point of view it's all sniper, there's all the different like targets and stuff that you can snipe from here. Go for the boar in the back, boom, got him. And can we down him? Boom, got him. So that's really cool. Bunch of different stuff in the sniper range up here. It's all romantic with the fires. I could at night with the lanterns and the fires. I just think it looks really cool, dude. So we're going to continue this tour onwards. Up here I've got... It's kind of like the participants lounge, I guess you would call it. There's some beds, 
There's a Doctor Who TARDIS. He likes to come and check out the competition every once in a while. I don't know if you knew this, but the Doctor is quite the good shot. He doesn't like guns, but he's a good shot. Talk about war stories with your fellow competitors by the fighter over there. All the different workstations you need if you need to check something. I was going to put a bunch of sh like chests here, but I don't know with it being on a PvE server if people would be able to access those. So I just kind of like left it. Uh, more of like the view, if you wanted to, you can practice shooting up here too. Hiding behind things. So that was one thing I wanted to do, is kind of like, I don't know, it's a PV server, so like we don't like raiding, we don't like having to deal with that. It's a very fun game, especially like the survival aspect of it. But I think a lot of people that do come to PV servers are just new people that are afraid to get into it. So I kind of like had this build in mind for different practicing for different scenarios you might run into. So like if we go down here, this is the free running range. First thing I'll- Oh no, my painting! Oh no! Anywho, the first thing I'm going to show you is in the center house here. Door camping. Door camping is a huge problem in this game. Uh, let's see, I got a couple of different guns ready. Uh, yeah, early game, all I got is a python revolver. I found it in a chest. I didn't feel like researching it, so I just repaired it. Easy to do, quick start gun, door campers. Open this up. Boom, down, down, down. And it's got an auto timer, so it closed like, after a couple of seconds, so you kind of have it perfectly set up to practice your quick shots before the door closes. Boom. Beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. It's so much fun to do. It's fun to build, fun to do. I made this whole area like open, kind of like you can just run around, jump on stuff. I get really hyper and the whole idea of like free running and hardcore parkour excites me. So it's all roofs, jumping, jumping. Oh, I balls that up, jumping between levels. What is this? What is this? Uh, just a bush with a bunch of fake boar in it. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Gotta keep you on your toes, especially in the free running area. This thing in the center, absolutely love it. Brings me back to my childhood. Designed it. Everything I did, I did a, uh, you can do slash skin shop on the server, another super awesome perk. Oh, not skin shop. You can do slash skin box on the server, another awesome perk. And you can skin items. Uh, I don't want to wait for all that to load, so boom. LR300 instant skinned sexy sexy so all the skins that are in the game you can basically access by doing slash skin box so that's really really nice but double d i hear you asking what is this building with the cool skins and the garage doors and the cow hides all around it and the lights and the roof what is it this is my favorite thing i built oh leg spike oh leg spike this is my favorite thing i built in this thing if you come around in here it's like the old school carnival games with all the like junk everywhere and like the little targets you have to hit with the BB gun. I forgot the three shots with the pistol. Oh no! It's my video. I built this and I'm ballsing it up. This is exactly why I play PvE. Oh, the leg. But here, if you follow the yellow brick road, normal brick road, stone road, Foundations. This is all connected to one tool cabinet too, so the upkeep. Actually, I'll just show you real quick. Before we go to that last building, if we come down here to the utility closet, as I call it. This is the tool cabinet. Upkeep for this thing is pretty nuts. It's 73,000 stone, 54,000 wood, and 40... What is that, 46? Yeah, 4,600 metal frags. That's a lot. Right now it's good for 21 days. That should last through the wipe. It's really nice of Mal's to give me in enough of the resources to make this thing last through the wipe. He put a warp to it too, so I'm hoping a lot of people are enjoying it. And this is the SWAT zone. I'm hoping the leg's a little less over here since, you know, we are not in that place there's not as many entities yep already better so you climb this ladder here to get up on the roof if 
for doing this in like squads and stuff. Like, hopefully this will be down from your sniper. You should always have a sniper in a raid, especially if you're in a clan. And then you just come in and you just go ham, dude. Let's use our LR. We skinned it. You're swatting hostages. Oh yeah, you can see all these little pookie bears, the little stuffed animals. They're the hostages. Oh, I didn't see you. Oh no, Lake. Still got him, still got him. Normal game of Rust right there. <laughs> this is one of those games where you can legitimately like call leg for the reason of your death, and you probably wouldn't be wrong. I tried to make this a little bit more look like it was an actual base lived in, which is like a bunch of clan members everywhere. Uh, I was gonna put a bunch of like items in the chest and everything. But then I'd have to keep up on it, and I don't get on the server every day. I have a lot going on, especially with the Pokemon playthrough right now. Shout out, mm. selfish plug, self selfless plug. Watch that if you haven't. Main floor here, the main Pookie hostage area. Open window. They've got a couple guys in here. I made it a little bit tougher to shoot some of them. I see ya. Coast is clear. Oh, no, there's a boar! Get the boar! I don't know why there's a boar in a base, but the pookies are saved. Look at them. Look at them. Hostage circle. Sleeping bags. Homer Simpson. Oh. I damaged that. You can damage your own things, I guess. I didn't know that. But yeah, that's it. This is the ultimate shooting range. I hope you liked it. I love your face. This is a sweet server, Bellanova PVE. Check it out under the modded tab on the server selection list. And uh, feel free to slash warp. Go to the shooting range and uh, check this place out for yourself. I love your face. Hope to see you in the next one. Mwah! Laters! is so leggy. I should get rid of the campfires. I think that's what's causing it. Oh man. But the lighting is so beautiful at night. I don't know if I can risk that. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, look at all these cool boats, dude. There's a lot of boats around here. Are those boats? Those are boats. Oh. They're the cool boats. I got an even cooler boat. Do you want to see an even cooler boat? Thank you, Mal's, for this gift of the gods. Oh. <laughs> Forgot I already summoned it. This was a gift given to me by Mal's, the server owner, just to show off the sweet, sweet build that I did. It's a flying carpet. We can fly around. It's super going to be leggy. But you can see huge, huge foundations all around here. You got the main building there, which is a huge building. Not gonna lie, then you got the free running area right behind that. Also super large. All with a wall, kind of like running platforms, lots of shooting. And then lastly, you got yourself a beautiful SWAT tower raid base. And this is my flying carpet. Oh, I love it.